Hi guys, it's Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your weekly tarot card forecast for August 27th through September 9th, 2000 and I'm sorry, September 2nd. Did I say 9th? September 2nd, 2017. As always, we're going to pull three cards, one for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. Let's start. Okay, in your work life, we have the Five of Wands upright. So, prepare yourself for some infighting. This could be um, between you and a coworker. This could be disagreements with a boss. Be careful with that. This could be disagreements with someone else who makes the rules. If not the boss, maybe your boss's boss or someone kind of further up the ladder. It could be varying levels. So like, you know, you don't want to have like a knockout throwdown fight kind of at work ever with anyone. <laughs> but you want to be careful when you are, uh, I mean, if you disagree with your boss, I'm the kind of person who vocalizes it always, regardless. Now, how you choose to vocalize it is important. You need to have tact, right? You don't want to go up to, you know, your boss or your boss's boss and be like, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that. Like, you don't want to do that. I mean, sometimes I do that, but I have a different relationship with my boss. So um, don't, you know, you don't want to do that. You also don't want to do that with coworkers. I mean, it just, it does, it's not very professional um, and it can create some animosity, but, you know, it's a little more acceptable if it's with a coworker, just be careful, but you're definitely going to be involved. This is not something that other people are going to be doing and you're just going to be watching. This is definitely something you're going to be involved in. So be careful how you approach it. Um, it's totally okay to disagree with how things are done. I am never an advocate just for doing something the way it's always been done, even though it's antiquated and it shouldn't be done that way anymore. Like, no, go ahead and voice all that. Um, just be careful how you do it. In your love life, we have the Nine of Pentacles upright. And your relationship is growing. This could be a new relationship, um, a little budding relationship. That's kind of what just came to me, like a little bud. Um, so it could be someone you just met and you guys are just getting to know each other a little better, starting to go on more dates, maybe deciding that um, this is, you know, if you're dating around, you're dating a lot of people, that this is the one that you want to be dating a little more exclusively or spending more time with this person than the other people. Um, if you are in a coupled relationship, this is just growing together. You guys are going to encounter something new, maybe an obstacle that you have to overcome. But what you do is you get together and you say like, okay, how are we going to do this? And you start start coming together more and making joint decisions. Even if you're married, um, it can get to, or if you're in a long-term relationship, it can get to a point where you're with someone so long that one person out of the couple starts to kind of take the lead. And so this is reeling back and, you know, starting to take the other person a little more into consideration and making more joint decisions on how you want to go forward together. That's another way to grow your relationship is to realize that, you know, one person isn't in charge of it. <laughs> in your home life, we have the Two of Swords upright. All upright cards this week, solid. Two of Swords upright. Sit tight. That's what I've got to say about this card. There are things going on in your uh, home life that you feel like maybe you need to make a decision right now. Maybe you feel like something needs to be addressed right now, but it doesn't. Um, kind of toe the line, don't make a decision. There's no rush. There's no need to make a decision. And actually, as I was holding it up to the monitor and looking at it, I was automatically drawn to the moon. I don't know if you were too, but I was automatically drawn to the moon and how it's kind of like the shadow would be pulling away. And that's making me think like more is going to be revealed. So until more is revealed, just sit there holding your swords. <laughs> you don't need to make any decisions. Just 
relax, kind of take a deep breath. Um, don't feel pressured into anything. Don't feel rushed like you need to do something now because you don't. Wait till more information is revealed and then you can make that decision. That's what we've got going on this week. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a tarot card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.